This video will outline troubleshooting of the manifold absolute pressure sensor, including error codes, use of the FI diagnostic tool, and provide tips for troubleshooting failures and running performance problems that might not trigger an error code. The intake air temperature and manifold absolute pressure sensor are combined into one housing. The sensor is fitted to the intake manifold to allow the sensor to measure the temperature and air pressure inside the manifold. There are four wires, 5 volt DC reference voltage, a signal wire for the MAP sensor, a common ground wire, which is black, and the intake air temperature signal wire, which is brown. The manifold absolute pressure portion of the sensor features an integrated circuit, which is powered by the 5 volts DC reference voltage and connected to ground. The pressure changes in the intake track deflects a silicon diaphragm chip inside the MAP sensor, and this movement is converted into DC voltage on the signal wire into the ECU. The manifold absolute pressure sensor is used for three functions. When the key is turned on, the ECU will quickly take a pressure reading and store this in memory. This is the atmospheric pressure, which equates to altitude. The higher the altitude, the lower the air pressure. Second, as the engine is running, the ECU averages the air pressure reading in the intake track to help determine how much air is coming into the engine. And finally, when an intake valve opens on a running engine, the pressure in the intake track quickly drops. The ECU is tracking crankshaft position, so when the ECU sees this voltage drop, it knows which intake valve just opened, so it can activate the corresponding fuel injector for that cylinder to spray fuel into the engine. The manifold absolute pressure sensor has two codes, P0107, MAP circuit low voltage or open, P0108, MAP circuit high voltage. The normal range for voltage from the MAP sensor is 0.6 to 4.8 volts DC. A quick way to remember how the MAP sensor works, high pressure equals high voltage, low pressure, lower voltage. If the voltage falls below 0.5 volts DC, the ECU will trigger error code P0107. Possible causes would be an open power wire or an open signal wire between the MAP sensor and the ECU, the signal wire shorted to ground, or the signal wire shorted to another wire in the harness that might provide a path to ground, or an open ground wire between the sensor and the parallel junction. If the ground wire were broken somewhere else, it could affect the TPS, the MAP and intake air temperature, engine temperature, and O2 sensor, so you should have multiple error codes. And the last possible cause would be the sensor itself failed, sending less than 0.5 volts to the ECU. If the signal voltage is over 4.8 volts, then the ECU will set P0108. It could be caused by the signal wire shorted to either a 5 volt or even a 12 volt circuit inside the wire harness, which would send the full 5 or 12 volts into the ECU. Or the 5 volt reference voltage wire could be shorted to a 12 volt wire in the harness. Or a failure in the MAP sensor sending the full 5 volts into the ECU. Using the FI diagnostic tool and the MAP setting, with the main switch on, engine not running, the air pressure reading should match the pressure at your location. At sea level, the normal air pressure is 14.7 psi, and the pressure goes down as the elevation increases. Compare the displayed reading with the actual air pressure at your location. You can use this chart to get a very good approximation of the normal pressure at your elevation. To test the sensor, remove the spark plug caps and be sure to ground the plug caps with some old spark plugs and crank the engine over. With the throttle closed, you should see about 3 to 4 psi less than the static pressure reading. When you open the throttle to full, the pressure should go back up to almost full pressure and drop when you close the throttle. If the pressure reading at your altitude matches this chart fairly closely and the MAP sensor reacts correctly during the cranking test, the sensor and circuit should be good. Use the following steps to verify the sensor circuit if needed. Back probe to the gray and black wire at the MAP sensor connector. Connect the positive lead of your voltmeter to the gray wire and the negative lead to the black wire. Turn the main switch on. You should see 4.9 to 5 volts DC. This verifies the 5 volt reference voltage is good, the black wire to the ECU is good, and the ground circuit through the ECU is good. If the voltage is less than 4.9, move the ground wire for the voltmeter to a good ground on the engine. If the voltage is still low, there may be excessive resistance in the gray wire between the ECU and the sensor, or the 5 volt circuit inside the ECU has failed. If the voltage is 4.9 to 5 volts using a good ground at the engine, the black wire between the sensor and the ECU has excessive resistance. Back probe to the green-yellow wire at the sensor and the green-yellow wire at the ECU connector. Connect the positive lead of your voltmeter to the green-yellow wire at the sensor and the negative lead to a good ground. 
Turn the main switch on and note the voltage reading. It will vary depending on the pressure. The actual voltage is not critical for this test. Now move the back probe from the green yellow wire at the sensor to the green yellow wire at the ECU. The voltage should be the same. If it's lower, there's unwanted resistance in the green yellow wire between the sensor and the ECU. If the ECU detects a failure in the MAP circuit, it will switch to a default mode to allow the engine to keep running. If the ECU detects voltage below 0.5, it will set error code P0107 and set the air pressure to zero during cranking or running. If the ECU detects more than 4.8 volts on the MAP circuit, it will set P0108 and set the atmospheric pressure to 17.8 PSI during cranking or running. 17.8 is very high air pressure, much higher than even sea level. Depending on the difference between the actual air pressure and the default settings, engine performance could be affected when the ECU starts using the default pressure in the fuel injection calculations. Be sure to watch all the other fuel injection system videos and pull them up on your smartphone whenever needed. Thanks for watching.